I'm Amy Sell, Senior Vice President of Talent Enhancement for the Michigan Economic Development Corporation. My role is to help connect people with opportunities that exist today, but also look at developing the pipeline of talent for future opportunities. We put a number of different concerns together to create this program to help address the needs of manufacturers. There are three main components to this program. The first is in-class training, where you would sit in a classroom at one of our local community colleges to learn the theoretical side of what they're teaching. There's hands-on application in lab work. And then the third component is where the student gets to apply this knowledge and lab experiences at the employer location. This program provides a unique opportunity for the students and really demonstrates the commitment that employers have to the students. Participants that are selected into this program are paid a salary by the employer. They are also, uh, their tuition is also paid for by the employer. So it's a great opportunity for students to uh, end up with an associate's degree, a certificate, critical work experience, and zero debt. First of all, OCC is tremendously thrilled to be one of the two colleges selected for this program. OCC is the largest community college in Michigan. We have five campuses. This campus is dedicated to technology, so all of our tech labs are here. Our robotics, our electrical, our mechanical, our hydraulics are all at this campus. We teach everything that this mechatronics program requires. The classes are all hands-on classes. It has grown exponentially. Electrical, the hydraulics, and the mechanical are in one lab, so you'll be doing electrical next to the mechanical. You'll have to diagnose it all together, which is what it's all about, is that problem solving, being able to figure out what's wrong and how to fix it. The Matt Square program fits well with ongoing efforts at Henry Ford Community College. Mechatronics is that combination of mechanical skills, electrical skills, communication skills brought together for a multi-skilled technician, somebody who is able to solve every problem on a machine. Skilled technicians have been in need in this country for the last 10 to 15 to 20 years. If you take a look at the demographics of who's retiring and what has happened in Generation X, and I happen to be a Generation Xer, we were told all to go get our four-year degrees. The reality is, is nobody has filled that gap of technicians at that level in my generation. So when you look at the demographics of the baby boomers, they are going into retirement. They are the ones that put us on the moon. They are the one, the technicians that um, built our cars, made our manufacturing number one in the world, and they're all retiring. There is nobody to fill that gap. Generation X, I'm t it's almost too late for my group to do it. The Generation Ys are the ones that have to start getting those skills to fill the ranks in the technician area to make our companies competitive and our country competitive. It's absolutely vital. This program will be excellent to help fill that void. My name's Jim Anderson. I instruct courses in industrial automation for Henry Ford Community College in Dearborn, Michigan. People are always seeking somebody that can come in and problem solve. You're going hands-on uh, a very large percentage of the time. It's got the latest and greatest robots, latest and greatest well controls, everything's communicating over ethernet. It is what's happening out in industry read diagnostic messages that are being displayed on the panel view screens so that they can learn how to troubleshoot from them. It's really quite a unique uh, experience and part of it is because of Henry Ford's uh, affiliation with local industry. Those same pieces of equipment are being used to train the existing workforce right now that are maintaining these pieces of equipment. What you get out of the hands-on approach is going to make you much more employable, much more desirable as an employee out there in industry. The mechatronics program uh, really is going to help prepare students to fill the needs that are out there in industry. What brought me to mechatronics is the multidiscipline. From the very beginning of my career, it has been a real combination of things. And continuing to work in mechatronics keeps my work diverse. I rather enjoy that. Being able to look at all different sides of a problem and come up with solutions for it. When I was younger, I used to take apart all kinds of things just to find out how they work. By doing so, it led me to understand a great deal about how I can solve other problems 
by knowing how someone else did theirs. The combination of electrical, mechanical, pneumatic, hydraulic, computer, all of these things, they let me design better things, faster, cheaper, having to do one thing continually, repeatedly, lets you do that one thing extremely well, but it gets boring. I rather like the variety that Mechatronics brings. I'm Sebastian Kutris. I'm an industrial engineer. I started the Mechatronics program with Brosa in 2001. That lasted for about three and a half years. I started out in uh, Germany. I did to that. I went to the plant in Chicago as a maintenance technician. Gathering another three years of experience in the plant, I actually got the opportunity to work in the headquarters as an industrial engineer, what I do now. It's the mechanics and the electronics, it's both combined. Very, very interesting, very exciting. Uh, for example, door modules, uh, seat structures, cooling fans, HVAC, uh, blower motors, lift gates. Kind of applicants that I think that are going to do well with this program, they, they would definitely have to have a great deal of drive. They would, they would benefit from having a, a strong mechanical aptitude, that desire to, to learn and understand how things work and how things can potentially be changed in order to perform different functions than maybe what they were originally intended. I think that the only thing that is missing from that list is probably a strong computer aptitude. They have to be able to eventually learn to program, so they have to be very comfortable around computers and how they work and what they're actually capable of. We plan to expand statewide very quickly in the mechatronics field because all indications are this is the you know, skilled need of the future.